Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a good year so far. This will be my first video for 2016. This is a power meter produced by P3 International. It's called the Kilowatt EZ. This is a model P4460. One of the things I noticed right off the bat, there is no cat ratings on it. You can see here it's rated for 115 volts. Max voltage 125, max current 15 amps. 1875 VA. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Looks like it comes with about a eight page manual. It's written in English. One of the things when I look through this manual is there's nothing about the accuracy of the unit. They do have a manual available online. And that manual actually does call out the accuracies. The RMS voltage and current are both rated at a maximum of 1%. However, the online manual doesn't say if that's plus or minus 1%. It doesn't say it's a reading or a full scale. There is no detailed information about what that is. They claim a maximum of 2% error for watts, 2% error for VA, and 2% error for the frequency. There's also an interesting note that the maximum power consumption of this device can be up to 10 watts. This is a Lenovo tablet that I use for testing. This tablet's currently connected to the LaCroix scope through a wireless connection and the scope is connected to our power monitor box. You can see it's reading a negative 18.6 real watts. That's because the current sensor is not turned on. So here's the first problem. You can see it's not designed to plug into a switched outlet like this. So we're going to turn on the LEM transformer. And let's just see if this thing will fire up. 119.5. The scope is reading 119.18. It's definitely a discrepancy between these two. If you watch my previous videos using the LaCroix to measure the AC power, again I achieved this resolution by oversampling and decimating the data. I'm also accounting for the nonlinearities of the A to D, so this is actually quite accurate. We'll start by plugging in the standard incandescent light bulb. Again, this is a 75 watt bulb at 120 volts. And this is looking at the power factor. And we can see the power factor of the LaCroix scope is roughly 1, 0.998 versus 0.99 or 1. Again, the voltage is 117.4 versus 117.7. Amps is 0.58 versus 0.593. Currently drawing 68.8 watts versus 69.6 and 68.8 VA versus 69.7 and roughly 60 Hertz and again we can see the LaCroix is measuring roughly 60 Hertz as well. And again this is looking at the normalized voltage and current. The current is blue voltage is the green trace and again these two are in phase like we would expect again it's just a light bulb and we can see that in this plot again the phase is zero degrees again THD is roughly 4.5 percent I don't know if this will display that yeah this doesn't have any measurement for THD And again, the majority of the harmonic distortion is due to the incoming line. This bulb is rated for 26 watts, 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, 390 milliamps. This is the largest CFL I have. We'll go ahead and install that in the socket. You can see the kilowatt is reporting 280 milliamps. The RMS current reported by LaCroix is 300 milliamps.
It's drawing roughly 23.5 watts. LaCroix is reporting 25.47. And 36.6, 37.3 VA, we'll call it, versus 38.7 with the LaCroix. Power factor is 0.65 versus 0.677 on the LaCroix. Again, if we look at the waveform off of the CFL, looking at the blue, this is the current. And the green is the voltage, and again, this is normalized data. Looking at the current harmonic distortion, this is including the fundamental frequency. And this is looking at the harmonic distortion of the voltage. It's just a bank of capacitors. We'll just apply this directly across the output. And we can see our capacitor bank is drawing roughly 360 milliamps where the LaCroix is roughly 383 milliamps. The kilowatt is reporting roughly 1.5 watts, where the LaCroix is roughly 3.22 watts. The kilowatt is reporting roughly 43.3 VA versus 45.8 VA on the LaCroix. Power factor is roughly 0.03 on the kilowatt and roughly 0.074 on the LaCroix. This is an Aztec LPQ 252. It's a 5 volt power supply. It's rated at 35 amps. You can see here I just have four 4 ohm resistors or a 1 ohm resistor as an output load. So this will be drawn roughly 5 amps. We can see the kilowatt is reporting a power factor of 0.97 versus the LaCroix at 0.98. If we look at our signals in time domain, you can see it looks uh, pretty much right. This power supply has a very good power factor correction built into it. You can see the kilowatt is reporting 55 VA versus 56 for the LaCroix. And 53.9 or 54 watts versus 55 watts on the LaCroix. And roughly 480 milliamps versus 489 on the LaCroix. This is a Kozo P1500, 1500 watt power supply. And again, I've just got a uh, resistive load connected to the output of this. And we'll be drawing roughly uh, 24 amps out of this. See the line voltage is drooped down significantly. It's roughly 113 versus 114 volts. Shows it's drawing roughly 7.8 amps versus 7.6 amps on the LaCroix. And roughly 645 watts versus 640 watts off the LaCroix. And 885 VA versus 871, roughly off the LaCroix. Power factor is 0.7273 versus 0.735 off the LaCroix. Looking at the data and time domain, again the blue is our current, and the green is the voltage. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive little unit. I think I paid less than $30 for this. Let's just have a look on the inside of it.
Well, it's definitely a no frills unit. You can see your shunt sitting here. There's a fuse here. Another fuse up here. Absolutely no protection. You can see the slots cut through for the high voltage down to the ground. There's quite a bit of flux residue on it. Yeah, not much to it. I doubt this would actually survive any of the uh, cat testing that I've done. Of course, those are all at uh, cat 3 level, so... Again, this thing is probably rated for cat 2 levels at best. It's supposed to just sit inside of your household, plugged into an outlet. <laughs> but if you're looking for a way to measure AC line voltage... Nice little setup. Not sure why they state in the online manual that this thing can draw up to 10 watts. Uh, maybe that's a misprint or something. Again, I don't see that with the manual that was included with it. See, so yeah, if you have a need to measure power, uh, this actually is a pretty good device. It looks like it's actually quite accurate. So I like the unit. It's uh, fairly feature rich. The fact they can read uh, power factor, RMS current, RMS voltage. It's a pretty good way to measure what's going on with your line. With the various loads I've tried, it looks fairly accurate. I'm pretty impressed with it. Maybe we'll try to hit this thing with a surge test at some point, and we'll see if it can survive any of that. So hopefully you found the video useful. Till next time.